pretty sparse like this all day today, and that's because of the lack of serious races at the top of the ticket. You can't see the white film behind me. Cunningham explains there's a thin layer of soil underneath that an aquifer basin that leads into creeks. This land behind me is the proposed site for the new geo correctional facility, but one of the major concerns is paving this road. Well, he's been found and arrested. The man who tried to fake his death in a plane crash. And believe it or not, this isn't the first large animal that took a dip in this pool. The homeowner tells me 10 years ago, a steer went for a swim as well. Of course, President-elect Barack Obama is also in the nation's capital. You see, stop signs and yield signs are kept on hand at the sign shops. And from the looks of his excitement around tractors, his grandson Ethan is a farmer in training. But combine this distracting gadget with a two-ton car and you've got a deadly combination. And while it will be easier to institute the burn ban, it will also be easier to take it off. A late night fire leaves a Lawton family looking for a new place to live this morning. State lawmakers claim changing this law could mean the difference between life and 15 years in prison. That's why Lawton police want to remind you to stay safe on the water. Mason tells me he offered other options, but the council would not consider them. It's all part of the Crystal Darkness campaign, and I had the chance to sit down with two inmates to hear their story. And residents tell me they're less concerned about eating the fish and more concerned about what this is going to smell like once temperatures begin to rise. 7 News wanted to find out just how popular this dangerous trend is, so we put a poll on our website. Comanche County is the latest to institute a burn ban. Austin Kleinkohl is part of the group who says they recalled the two. The citizens of Comanche County will have the chance to voice their opinion on this proposed land. Someone's gone on a spree plowing down traffic signs all over western Comanche County. One answer is get this, buy a big bag of M&Ms and put it right in the middle of the kitchen table. And I'd be remiss if I didn't try one for myself. Milkowski was driving down Highway 34 when he veered right off the road, traveling 750 feet. Some information on the Ringling house fire that killed three people early Monday morning. Yesterday, Nicholson's bond was set at $100,000, so we took a trip to the Lawton Police Department's training room for a test drive on the driving simulator. But if you can look in the distance, just below the horizon, you can still see a little bit of smoke. This after a woman was sexually attacked when a man went to her house claiming to be an animal control officer. Now, you have no idea what goes into putting these suits on and just how hot they are. Again, they are expecting tomorrow night's show to sell out, and that means traffic is going to be very hectic. So if you're heading out to the lake this Memorial Day, be sure to wear your life jacket because it really could save your life. Reporting in late.